My name is Susan Gaskin. I have multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed in 1997 as having relapsing and remitting MS. And I want to show you some, tell you some of the symptoms that I have that you cannot see. I have tingling and numbness in my extremities. I have a very purplish colored foot, right foot. I have extreme fatigue, so I have to really pace myself each day. I have balance problems. I have bladder problems. So I'm up at least three to four times every night to go to the bathroom. And walking is very difficult, especially. The, most of my problems are in my legs. I um, have a hard time walking. So I want to show you now how I walk. And first of all, I'll show you with using my cane because this is what I use now. So it's a bit difficult for me. I'm going to start walking like this. Okay, I'm going to try to walk the length of the room with my cane. I like holding onto the walls. <laughs> so here we go. Nice and slowly. Close to the wall. Like this. And then I'm going to walk back like this. Okay, now I will try to walk without my cane. <laughs> I have to really focus, okay? So there we go. <laughs> like, whoops. Not too good. Well, I guess I didn't succeed. <laughs> it's kind of like this, very heavy. I want to say, too, I was on Copaxone for six years. My doctor pulled me off of it when he said I was, I no longer had relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, but I have primary progressive. Okay, now I want to show you how I walk up and down the stairs, because I feel that is very important. I live in a split-level home, as I'm sure a lot of other people do as well, and on a day-to-day -day basis I have to walk up and down the stairs. So we're going to walk over to the stairs. Enough, there are some days where I can I can't even get the one leg up the stairs. I have to sort of lift it almost. It's so stiff. So I at home I kind of go more like this. I don't always use my cane at home, I try not to. But I definitely need both hands. If I just have the one, it's doesn't make me feel very steady. Okay, so that was very tiring. I find that the more I walk, the more and more tired I become, the more I walk all over the place, <laughs> and it just becomes harder and harder to focus. I just become really tired and really out of breath, and I find that I really need to sit down. Okay, I just want to show you what it's like for me to jump. <laughs> it's like that. It's, it's kind of, <laughs> it's like I'm plastered to the ground, pretty much. Very difficult. So another symptom I have is that my toes are very, tr they're trying so hard to balance me that they get almost gnarly. Um, and that's why I, I pretty much always have to wear shoes or socks or slippers or something. Because without them, you start to trip over your toes. And so it, that's, that's something I don't need. <laughs> um, I want to add that I did have a test done at the uh, Westmount Clinic. I had the Doppler ultrasound exam. And the results that the radiologist wrote on my report is that my right jugular vein has uh, some sort of a blockage. He said that the blood is refluxing back to my brain for longer than 0 0.8 seconds, especially when I'm uh, lying down. But it's also happening when I sit up. So I'm very curious to see 
when I when they do further tests, what they will find. Okay, so I just want to show a few more things. There's a few things that the neurologist neurologists will test you when you're in their office. One of them is they will have you close your eyes, like I am. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous, but I have a chair beside me, and they make you go like this, so I can touch my nose. My upper body, as I said, isn't so much of a problem. It's my lower body. But there, my eyes are closed, and I'm <laughs> not falling, sort of. Um, but my hamstrings are very bad. I want to show you how, what it's like for me to lift my legs. So if I, it's, it feels like there's 50 pounds pulling me down. So this is honestly how difficult it is. And when I try and do the backwards, I don't know what you call this, but oh, I mean, it's, I can't. I give up. No, I, I can't. I mean, there. So I won't even bother trying to walk backwards. It's just an impossibility. So I want to tell you that all of this is been, has been filmed on July the 4th, 2010. My husband and I have traveled to Poland from Montreal, and I'm here for the liberation treatment. I have my first appointment tomorrow, Monday, where I will be given various neurological tests. And then the surgery is scheduled for the Tuesday, the very next day.